Hi everybody, hi America, hi YouTube, hi um, the United States. Uh, this is gonna be very, very shaky because I'm holding it. I am pulled over on the street and I just had to pull the fuck over and vent. I had to fucking vent because I can't do this shit anymore. Um, I know I haven't posted in forever and I'm not gonna make any excuses for it. I, we're just, I, I'm at the breaking point and I hope, hope that maybe this breaking point will encourage me to post more on YouTube. So maybe my pain will be good for all of those of you who have been bugging me to make more videos and thank you for bugging me about it. Um, that's not shade, like I do. I'm just gonna talk about my drama. So the HBO series Euphoria just came out and you know, my friend, some of my friends worked on it or were in it and I actually auditioned for the role of Jules. I did a self tape, they found me on Instagram and sent me this thing that was like, oh, we're looking for trans actors. And I was like, cool, cool. Sent in my first self tape. Shout out to all the wonderful, beautiful, magical people who helped me make those self tapes um, because they looked great, but I was not great. Let's just say that I fucking sucked. Let's just leave it there and say that I fucking sucked. Um, uh, I, I, some terrible acting happened and you know I was in acting class at the time like I am a theater I, I, I graduated from college as a theater major so I want to be an actor I want to be famous I want to be all these things and um, so you know I, I, I didn't even get a call back blah 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 they didn't really message me back and that's fine God's plan if you know I had gotten cast in HBO's Euphoria um, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have all the good stuff that I have right now because of, you know, all the other stuff that I have. The point, it, it's been a long year. We're running on my, my, oh, it's almost my second year in Los Angeles. And I haven't been posting because I've been fucking grinding, I guess, or like hustling, like trying to get my shit together. And my God, I am just at such a fucking point with it. Anyway, I just saw... My friend posted the, the, you know, that, they, that she had gotten on the thing, and I was like, cool, great, that's lovely. Let me wonder and look up and see who got the role that I auditioned for. So I looked it up, um, and it's this, like, 20-year-old trans individual, trans girl, um, from New York, model, beautiful, um, their name is Hunter, her name is Hunter. Fabulous person, and, like, in a universe in which I'm not a shitty, horrible person, I should be so, there's like these dudes staring at me and it's absolutely fine, what you gotta say? Um, in a universe that isn't fucking horrible, um, in a universe which I'm a good person, I'm happy for this person, right? And I send them a lovely message that's like, or just a, you know, don't send them a message, but like, I send them lovely vibes, a mental and emotional vibes, where I'm like, I'm really fucking tired of this dude staring at me, like, are you okay? Do you require assistance? Um, anyway, in a lovely universe... I am happy for this person and not envious and jealous. In this universe that I am currently living in, I'm so fucking upset, I'm so angry. And you know, I had to sit down with Jen Richards once and she said, um, you know, trans, as trans, like the trans community, you know, of actors and stuff in LA, we all just get together, we audition for stuff together and like read through stuff together and do all these reads and like try to like have this mentality, or like have this mentality that if one of us gets the gig, it's good because that means there's more gigs for all of us. And I'm just not there yet. I'm just not there yet. I'm still in this thing where it's like, I've been out for 10 plus years. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking over it. I just like feel like I just, <laughs> this is radical honesty that we're doing right now. And it's not, it's not truth. It's not fact, but this is how I feel. This is how I feel. I feel like I deserve something for being out for this long. Like, I feel like, I feel like I was a strong-ass 14-year-old, and I just, like, deserved, like, somebody to, like, fucking recognize that. And, like, people did recognize it, and people were like, yay, um, but I expected to be like, yay, um, look, you get cast in a thing. Um, and I was like, great, I want to be cast in a thing, but then nobody ever cast me in a thing. I'm, I keep getting distracted, because I'm fucking tired, I'm fucking exhausted, and, like, I'm at the end of my rope. Like, this is the end of the rope. This is me. Like, I have fallen off the end of the rope. That's why I'm making this video. I just went to a workout this morning. I was so tired. I was, like, so excited to, oh, yeah, we're gonna work out. We're gonna work out. I have a personal fucking trainer. Uh, shout out to my personal trainer. Lovely, lovely individual. Elliot Musgrave. Post their info. 
perfect human being. All these people, I have a personal trainer, I have a vocal coach, I got FFS, like, I haven't really talked to YouTube about it, but I got FFS. Um, I'm planning on getting my trachea shape, I'm in therapy twice a week, uh, I have my own apartment, fucking, I'm in writing class, like, I am trying so fucking hard to get my big break, that's all I want, is all I want is, like, somebody to cast me in something, or green light something, or fucking something, just, like, somebody fucking recognize me on some mainstream platform, like, any mainstream... I've just been trying so hard to be mainstream, and you guys, on androgenetics, nobody really knew me, like, no one really knew, <coughs> excuse me, knew my background, and I didn't really know my background, you know, I was 16 to 18, and I hadn't processed literally any of the crazy shit that had happened to me, uh, growing up, which was a fair amount of crazy shit, so now that I've, like, integrated all that stuff, I'm like, damn, I'm a fucking, and no, it, it's a good thing that I wasn't famous back then, because, you know, I had all this acne, if I had become, like, a teen or a child star, Boy, I just would have been addicted to every single drug there ever was. And I am just struggling, and I'm, like, talking to the goddess right now. I'm, like, moving my phone. Talking to the goddess right now. Like, what can I do? Like, what can I fucking honestly do to get what I want in this life? Like, I'm sitting. It's a beautiful day. I live in Los Angeles. I have a lovely fucking life. Am I just not good enough? Like, am I not a good enough actor? Am I not as smart as I think? think that I am? Am I not as funny as I think that I am? Am I not pretty enough? Like, is everyone just always, like, blowing gas up my ass? Like, like, I blow gas up other people's ass. Like, is that even how you say that? Blow steam up my ass. Blow gas up my ass. And I know that none of this is real. I know that all of this is just an anxious spiral. And I know that I have these moments, periodically, where I doubt myself and I doubt everything and then I have another win and it's okay. I'm performing tonight um, at a bar. I'm not gonna make any money. Not that that's what it's really about, but just like in the context of these like, tw I'm 24. These 20 year old trans girls who are already models and don't have any casting or er, uh, uh, acting experience and get cast in these roles and do well. And I am so happy for them, or I want to be so happy for them, but I don't have any room to be happy th for them because I'm jealous. I'm jealous and I'm envious and I want to- Are we gonna do it? Okay, and my video just cut me off because that's the point at which we're at. <sighs> in my life where I have literally no storage left on my phone either. Easier, easier! I've calmed down since my video cut off because I just had to delete a bunch of podcasts, but my god, I really appreciate you guys listening to all this. I want to continue to post these, like, vents and rants and things because that's really the most honest part of where I'm at, and I think that that might be good for me and for you, for me to be, like, honest with you as a group of people. So I'm just gonna quickly edit all of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly like smash these videos together in iMovie and fucking upload them and not even think about it. We're not gonna edit, we're not gonna do anything. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being there. Um, I'm gonna go take a nap.